Hi guys, it's Marie and Janelle here and today I'm actually at summer camp and I'm going to be showing you guys some summer camp activities. This is a horse summer camp and so we're at the horse program so I'm going to show you those activities that we're doing and just all the things that go along with that. We started out each day herding the horses in. They have about 80 horses that they keep on this property during the summer. Some of these horses they own and others they lease for the summer. It was so awesome seeing that many horses in a herd. Once they were in the barn, we caught the horses that were needed for the day and then sent the others back out for a day off to graze. They said this was a more efficient way than to find and catch the 30 horses that were needed in a herd of 80. We groomed and tacked up. It was really interesting tacking up different horses. I guess I've gotten so used to Kazi and her tack that I felt a little awkward with the new stuff. <laughs> we gotta go. I'm just gonna write girth. Now. I'm gonna write girthless because I'm <laughs> against abuse. But everyone was really kind and gave me help when I needed it. Except for Alex. We're done. Ready she just go. laughed at me. No bridle either. I don't know if this is the proper way. <laughs> but this is how I do it at home, so. Let's see. Okay. Is this <laughs> oh, great. Perfect. The camp has a jumping program for more experienced campers. This week, there weren't any real campers here, so the Wranglers had the week to exercise and assess the horses that they were assigned to work with. Today, we got to work with the jumpers. Patton, who I just tacked up, is an off-the-track thoroughbred that the camp owns. I got the pleasure of riding him over some jumps. I just started going over small poles with Kazi back home with my trainer. These look small on camera, and they are, but this was the highest I'd ever jumped. Also, Patton is so much bigger than Kazi, so it felt very different, but it was so much fun. Katie and Alex had so many funny stories about previous summers at camp. It was hilarious listening to the different personalities they came in contact with. We thought it would be fun to make a video based on their experiences. So we went out to the herd, grabbed some horses we thought would be good in the video, and started to play around with the idea. Here is a sneak peek. Keep an eye out for the finished video in the next few weeks. Beautiful day for a riding lesson, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just so happy they put me on Marshall here. Did you know that he's actually the horse that's in the movie Spirit? Isn't Spirit a cartoon? Um, um, yeah, well, they, they based it off of this horse right here. I know for a fact because my Uncle Rick made the movie. Rail! Um, Rail! Okay. Oh. All right, Alex, you're doing amazing. Good. Way to keep him on the rail. Oh. All right. Now you're gonna have to use what? a lot what of doing? muscle. What is he doing? What is he doing? What is he doing? It's okay. Help! Help! It's help, okay. Help, help. All right. Now take a few deep breaths. <laughs> See, he's doing just fine. He likes his grass. Okay. Now pull ah. back on those reins. No, ah. you need to keep your hands on your reins, Alex. Besides horses, camp had some other cute animals we got to play with. One of the camp managers was out looking at a horse to purchase for camp and stumbled upon these cuties, baby mini potbelly pigs. They are still getting used to being handled by humans, but aren't they the cutest? <laughs> Hannah is such a stud wrangler. She drives a tractor and puts new hay out for the herd every day. While we were out admiring her tractor driving skills, she found something. Oh my gosh! Baby raccoons! We had to get a closer look. As cute as these babies are, they will turn into pests for all the chickens in the area. I wanted so bad to adopt one, saving it from its future fate but I'm pretty sure Delta wouldn't allow one of these on the plane home, so I resisted. At the end of every day, we let the horses back out to the herd. This was my favorite part of the day. Watching the horses run back to the pasture left me feeling awestruck. It reminded me of the wild Mustang herds.
Once all the horses were in and the gates were closed, we headed back to the barn to clean and close up for the night. It was such an amazing experience. I had been to a horse camp three summers as a kid, but enjoyed it just as much as an adult. I really hope we get to go back and experience it all over again. Thank you Courtney and Trina for letting me come and be in your way for a week. Is that really a good idea? Probably not. Fall of Everett loses power, this is why. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next Tuesday.